Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video. Sorry this is late, I have literally just got back. Um, the whole, trans it's been a terrible day, um, to be honest. The whole transport system, uh, train-wise, was, was just awful. Um, and as you can see in the thumbnail, we lost 2-1 um, um, to Crystal Palace. Um, and as it says on the screen, uh, if you notice, um, there's, there's been a bit change to the graphics. Um, please, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studios. You really appreciate the ongoing support. Um, but guys, um, I went down, I travelled on to a draft today to support this club. Um, and uh, this is going to be a bit of a longer video. Um, I'm, I might post one or two more videos um, tomorrow in the week um, as we reflect upon this sort of um, loss. But um, this was bad. Um, this was a bad performance to me from top to bottom, um, you know, from from David De Gea all the way up to I mean, okay, uh, up, up to, to our forwards. To be frank, um, I don't know where we start here. To be honest, um, Crystal Palace really didn't do. I mean, the whole thing was bad. I mean, okay, before I get into Manchester United, I'll talk about like a few of the peripheral things. For example, Crystal Palace just didn't play well at all. All Crystal Palace did for 90 minutes was put 10, 11 men behind the ball. They then long board up to Jordan Ayew um, and then a quick and then a quick counter attack. That was it. They didn't do anything else in the game. So this wasn't like Wolves. Wolves did have opportunities um, and times to try to play and did sort of put us on the cosh a bit. Crystal Palace never, at any circumstance, put United under the cosh. We were not under any pressure. We had the majority of the possession, we had 20 shots on goal, but we only had three shots on target and Crystal Palace had three shots on target. And you know what? Much like the Chelsea game, Chelsea had about the same amount of shots on target that we had, except we were clinical. We weren't clinical this time, as it showed by our missing a penalty. And we'll go into that, I'll go into that. Um, the So, so Palace were, were awful, um, to be honest. And, and uh, even though, yes, they beat us um, and they got the three points, Frankly, if they play like that against other teams, um, they're not gonna. It's not. It's not. It's not gonna work all time, especially against the, the teams that um, will do that to you. So, so there you go. Um, the referee was awful. Um, he, he. There was so much time wasting going on. Somehow, it was five minutes of injury time only in the second half, despite the fact they called on the medical team twice, and despite the fact that they were long sort of walk-in substitutions. I don't know if the referee was scouts, I've got no idea, but it certainly wasn't five minutes of, 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 of um, should have been longer of injury time. Um, I mean, the Cahill red card, I mean, from what I can see, from what I saw, he pulled, he pulled Martial, or he took out Martial, he was the last man, under the rules he should be a red card. I don't understand why that's not a red card. If someone can please explain to me in the comments why it wasn't a red card. Um, I, I love to know because I know the keeper. If the keeper takes him out, um, you know, and tries to win the ball, that's a yellow card. But if he's not trying to win the ball and he just takes the player out down and he's last man as a defender, that's still a red card. So I, I don't, I don't understand. I'm not understand why that where where that rule has gone. So they should have been down to ten men in my opinion. Anyway, that said, it doesn't excuse um, a performance to be honest. Because uh, and we're going to see United's performance now because. And like I said at the start, from top to finish, it was awful. It was bad. It was very, very bad. David Gea didn't have much to do. When he did have to do, to be honest, he should be saving that. Um, it's not his fault completely that we've done, but he should be saving that second goal. That's that's what I think. He should he should he should be saving it. He should be. Um, he should be being there. And that happened again last season. He 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 he, he, he shouldn't be beating us there. Um, although the fact that you know. Uh, a a draw at home to Palace would have been seen as a good result is is almost an insult considering that I even as you heard in a previous video I predicted that we'd do a three nil you know Marshall to get a brace Pogba to silence the haters none of that happened um, speaking of haters penalty issue here so this whole week we've been talking about the penalty debate up until Thursday Friday Rashford Rashford is apparently the penalty designated now because Pogba missed. And Russia misses a penalty because you know what, guys? Players miss penalties. It happens. So the fact that, frankly, Oli and uh, caved in to pressure from 
the media or whatever, or this constant, oh, there must be a penalty taken, oh, there must be a penalty taken, all that nonsense, even though, even though in the likes of Barcelona, they also need penalty takers all the time, there was no basis for that, it was just, so, he's now got in his head, Marsh, uh, Rashford, sorry, taking the penalty, um, he's got the pressure on it now, when before he would just not think, now, he's having to think because of the, of a stupid press, exacerbated unfortunately by 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 Gary Neal and a few and a few other other people saying their piece and he's missed a penalty you know because that's what players do they miss penalties sometimes so so that that did not help at all especially at 70 minute a key key game where we need to really add the moments on we score at 70 I think 60 sorry, 70 minutes we got it goes 1-1 one, one, and and we have 20 minutes to, to get to get a second goal Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, it, it it was left to Daniel James um, in the I think it was in the 80th minute, um, 80 you know late 85th minute I think to get the goal. A goal coming from Daniel James, you know, 19 year old. I mean, he didn't have the best game to be honest. Um, you know, I don't think he's ready. And to be honest, you know, I'm surprised that. The, it's not that I think that Daniel James is a bad player, but I thought he'd be eased into the squad. He, the fact that he's starting, it's like, so you mean that we basically bought Daniel James to be our starting um, right winger, essentially? Is that is that is that why we bought Daniel? Because Arsenal paid seventy two million to get Nicolas Pepe, who played well, even though Liverpool. Uh, Arsenal lost against, against against Arsenal. We paid fifteen million to get a kid from Swansea, I think it was, um, who has potential to be good, but he, he shouldn't be he shouldn't be a, a starter, a shoe in. Although you know, Lingard um, was awful again. He was awful against Chelsea, to be honest. He has not had a good game. To be honest, he didn't have a good preseason either. So I've got. When was the last time? Tell me what you think, guys, in the comments. When was the last time Jesse Lingard had a good game? When was the last time Jesse Lingard had a good game? Please tell me when Jesse. When was the last time that Jesse Lingard had a good game? Please, um, because um, it, it's nonsense. Um, it, 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 it's nonsense. It, it really, really is. It is. It is, it is absolute nonsense. Um, I, I don't know what else to say to be honest. I'm so tired. I'm so because I'm recording this so late that I don't know. I don't know where who who to, who else to go in on. The midfield is completely non-existent. Why is Pogba playing so deep? He shouldn't be the DM and the CAM as well. And it's just like I, I I don't know where McTominay was. Did we even have a midfield? We're playing Lingard in midfield. Why is Lingard playing in midfield? He's not a midfield player. He's at best a right winger uh, or possibly number ten. Um, although he's not doing good at those jobs, so we're putting him in midfield as a makeshift. He's not a midfield player. We we essentially played with, you know, what six attackers in uh, what Daniel James, uh, Lingard, Martial, Rashford. Um, uh, who else was playing? Um, uh, but you, maybe you could put Pogba in there. Although Pogba wasn't playing as a uh, um, as as an attacker, he was basically just. Pogba was essentially in front of the back four for most of the game and then carrying the ball up, running with it, trying to do something, you know. And even then it was all disjointed. There was no incision, incision of passing because Pogba is, is not able to do that because no one's able to cut the ball. To, so Pogba's going to get a lot of, of stick as he usually is, but frankly, it's not Pogba's fault. I didn't think that Pog, Pogba was the worst player in the field, to be honest. Defensively, we we, we although we would have been sore before, we weren't good. Um... Linda Plum makes a mistake. He's done that before, I think once or twice, when he's lost the aerial duel in the air over a long ball situation. Why are we losing to, you know, why are we, you know, teams are now looking at United and thinking, you know what, the best way to be United is bypass the midfield because it's non existent, long ball up, put pressure on, on their defence, and there you go. Sit back and do that all game, and you'll be fine. And that is very easy to do, frankly. It's not like, like oh, with City, you have to kind of like, Defend for your lives and try and get the ball come come out and see and and hope and pray. You know, 
what teams are doing to, uh, to us to, to stifle us is fairly straightforward. Like, Crystal Palace did nothing in that game. Absolutely nothing. The goal, you know, I say a mistake, you know, Pogba, Wambasaka, you know, Wambasaka didn't have his best game. I don't know whether that was because I was playing against Crystal Palace. So he has had two very good games and a very good preseason. So I don't think we can really get on his back. And frankly, what's the alternative? Are you really going to bring Ashley Young back into that position? No. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to chalk it to the fact that the whole team was bad. Um, he wasn't getting any protection on that side whatsoever. Although, to be honest, they were going down our left hand side more than the right anyway. Um, we have injuries. Shaw gets injured. It gets better. Shaw gets injured. Martial gets injured. Um, hopefully, they'll be back for Southampton. But we've already got a starting eleven that's not good enough. That can't be Crystal Palace. That that was arguably our best starting eleven, plus or minus Fred and Pereira in there. Maybe Pereira changes things. Maybe Fred changes things. I don't know. Um, those are the only two players you could think possibly maybe their the inclusion changes things. Alexis Sanchez, who knows? But he's leaving. So it's like, who else do we really have really um, to, to impact things? You know, you can look at the substitutions. We made a Greenwood sub. Greenwood came on, didn't do much. But again, we're relying on youth to bail us out, which is which is wrong. We should be relying on experience, not youth, to bail us out. Um, and then Matter comes on. I'm not entirely sure what Matter is going to do, to be honest. Uh, you know, I have, is, is he all right, player? Maybe play as not him as a number ten. You know, maybe play Matter as a number ten next game um, against Southampton, so we can have some creativity. Play Matter as number ten, and then have. Um, uh, Lingard and, and Martial um, uh, alongside him, and then Rashford. If you're going to play four two three one, I, I I don't know, you know. So or, to be honest, put Pogba in the number ten role, um, Martial up top, Rashford to the left, and then James or Lingard or whatever on the side, um, or, or something. I don't know. I really don't know with the squad because, um, you know, the supposed Deadwood are out of the squad. You know, we don't have Lukaku now. Sam's not playing. Fellaini's gone. Jones is gone. Smalling's gone. Oh, yes, everything will be awesome. Everything will be fixed. But it's not fixed. <coughs> Sorry, it's not fixed. It's not fixed at all. It's the same old, they've said in the thumbnail, bottle job, FC. Um, and um, and this is going to be a long season. Um, my expectation with United, we're not, we're not going to finish in the top four. Um and that, and that still remains the case, um, you know, at this rate, it's only, okay, it's only three games in the season, you don't know, you don't know at the end of the day, um, and ultimately, ultimately, looking at the table doesn't really mean much, you know, okay, where we've got four points, we're already, what, five points behind Liverpool, you know, it's, it's again, it's, it's it's difficult, you can't really make much, much of it, but I know we're not in the title anyway, we've got the same points as Chelsea, we're two points behind Arsenal. Um, City play tomorrow, um, and Spurs play tomorrow as well. Though they have Spurs have uh, Spurs have four points as well. Yes, yes, Spurs have four points as well. So, but they're probably going to beat Newcastle, who are, who are banter right now. Um, so you know we'll see. You know we we will see. Um, but these are the games that you have to win. And to be honest. Out of the first five games that 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 we had, I previewed, and if you go back to the to the preview, um, I made the, my first video for this channel. Actually, um, I said the first five games we have are going to be very tough. Um, but to be honest, out of the five, Crystal Palace at home is our best is our best one of getting three points. You know, what do we do? Okay, we beat Chelsea at home. Great, we draw against Wolves away. Fair enough. Not a no bad result. It's fine. We bottle it against Crystal Palace. We now have to play Southampton away and Leicester City um, at home. Leicester City at home, I'm frankly scared of. And that's funny, considering the fact that Leicester City um, were not were nobody really, and uh, even and and dipped quite significantly after they won the um, won the Premier League. But now are really going for top four now and have a good shout with the squad they have. Um, and Southampton, you know, we struggled against them when they came to Old Trafford last season. Maybe, hopefully, there's less pressure away from home. There's less pressure. 
So maybe we can go to Southampton and get and get three points because my God, we do need the three points. Um, I'll do the play ratings um, tomorrow. Well, actually, no, I'll do the play ratings after I record this video. Um, but guys, it was bad. It was bad. Bad, 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 bad. Um, I don't know what else there is to, to, to say, really. Um, just please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Thank you for listening, guys. Um, what can we do? Um, I guess last thoughts, Oli going to Solskjaer. Tactically, I think he got it wrong. Um, uh, whether he should be still play, playing Lingard, to be honest. Maybe he likes him. There's other options, I don't know. But um, something, some coaching or something needs to change because we can't break down teams that just put a, a, a back, you know, two banks of four behind us. We can't break teams down. We, we can't break teams down. We can't use set pieces. We can't use free kicks. So, yeah. Um, and you're still, you know, scratching your head thinking, what player has actually improved for us? Um, you know, like Mourinho, what player has improved um, this season, uh, 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 you know, under Ali so far? Um, no one yet. I hope I hope that changes, you know. But so far, it's just the same old, same old. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Hit that notification button to get up to date the latest videos from this channel. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.